Welcome back to Just a Printer. I'm Dan. Just warming everything up this morning. Yesterday, got a paper shipment. It's kind of eerie. My paper truck comes and it's like, my paper is the only paper on a trailer. And it's just weird. I don't know if nobody else is buying paper. I'm sure it's slowed down for everybody. It's slowed down for me too. We have books to print. Uh, I have some printed books that are ready to bind. So I'll warm up the binder. Uh, I have newsletters. I want to print those first. And uh, then I think I'll be oh yeah, a decent amount of work to do today. Um, and if I have time today, I uh, might wait till tomorrow too. I'm gonna change those belts on the MBO, but I'm still getting uh, requests for uh, quotes. So people are still wanting to print things. Certainly interesting times, but as long as there's work to do, I'm gonna turn the lights on and get some stuff done. I almost forgot, I got covers to laminate. So this case of uh, carbonless paper costs 150 bucks. Is there anybody out there that still uses the NCR Superior brand? I mean, they have all kinds of marketing gimmicks and stuff, and we used to use that stuff back in the years, but I'd say ooh, like eight or so years ago, I switched over to this Revolution brand, and it's half the price as uh, NCR Superior, same stuff. Uh, Two-part pre-collated reverse sequence. So, I mean, just think about that. This is 150 bucks, the exact same from NCR Superior is 300 bucks. Does anybody still use it or is it just my local paper distributor that's jacking the price on it or something? But, I don't know, if this is available where you're at and you're still using the Superior brand, give this stuff a try, I really like it. And it's half price. And the funny thing is, that stuff's probably made in the same mill as the other stuff. So if you're new to the channel, you might be wondering why I didn't just buy that already cut down. And the answer is I need it to be short grain paper. Because this is going to be turned into 8.5 by 11 books. And the 70 pound paper that I keep in stock here is long grain, 1218. Got one book printing here. The other one's running over here. However, I might run them both on the 6500. Not sure yet. Covers are almost finished being laminated. Gotta cut these down to be perfect bound. These get cut down, be saddle stitched, poly bagged, and mailed. Gotta keep me busy for a little while. Okay, newsletters are stitched. Got to bag them yet. Just finished perfect buying the first of three perfect bound books. And I'm hungry. So, I'm gonna fill this up with paper, and let this print as I'm getting some lunch. I should also point out on this, I decided to cut these down by hand because of this first title page. Uh, with that border, Setting up the three knife trimmer probably would have been fine, but I might have messed one up and I didn't feel like messing any up and for only 15 books, I'm gonna cut them down by hand so that they're all as perfect as possible. Okay, I think that's enough for one day. Sorry, I forgot to show you that the uh, those newsletters were actually mailed and finished, but got those bagged, those got mailed out. I only had uh, 15 soft cover books and I have another 15 books there boxed up. I'm gonna take those to the bindery and they're gonna case bind those for me. 
Got some more perfect binding uh, to do tomorrow. I have, have to print those yet. And then I'll bring you guys back uh, at some point in a couple days for the, uh, the belt replacement on the MBO. And I'd also like to replace the hydraulic fluid on the CMT 330 three knife trimmer. Um, the sales person or somebody had said that you never have to replace the hydraulic fluid on that but I don't buy that at all. That needs to be replaced every once in a while. Um, but yeah, things uh, are slowing down, but that's okay. Cause I got a whole bunch of firewood that I need to split for this coming winter. Cause I like to stay warm during winter time. Anywho, catch y'all later.